With the latest Bosch eBike Flow app update, you can now add up to six eBikes in the app. In this video, you'll find out how to do that and what other new features are included. So, a warm welcome to our latest Bosch eBike Flow app update video. As already mentioned in the intro, Bosch has fulfilled a major wish with this update because with version 1.26, you now have the ability to store and manage multiple e-bikes in the app. To make this possible, the app developers have introduced a new user interface. There are no longer general settings. Instead, there are now profile settings, which you'll find as usual at the bottom right of the screen and then also the so-called bike settings, which you will find at the top right of the home screen. In the profile settings, you can manage everything related to your Bosch account. In other words, if you have or want to subscribe to Flow Plus, your name, your email address, these are all things you can now manage in the profile section at the bottom right. So basically everything that isn't specifically related to a particular bike or e-bike, but only to you as a user, much more exciting, however, are the new bike settings which you'll now find on the home screen. There, you'll now be able to see all the important information about the currently selected e-bike. This includes, among other things, the e-bike pass, the e-bike lock function, all components, and of course, all the settings for the different riding modes. You can now find all of this in the top right corner of the home screen under the e-bike settings. Another feature you can access in the e-bike settings, one that already existed but is only now becoming truly relevant, can be found in the settings tab at the top right. Using the small pencil icon, you can assign a custom name of your choice to the currently selected e-bike. This helps you to always select the correct bike when you have multiple e-bikes in the app. Keep in mind, if you want to make settings for a specific bike, you must be connected to that bike. Only then will these settings be available at all and correctly transferred to the bike. Thanks to this separation between bike and profile settings, it is now possible to manage multiple bikes within the app. You can also see which e-bikes are connected to the app on the home screen. Now, however, there's a new menu in the top left corner. This menu lists all e-bikes linked to the app and your account. With a simple tap on the respective bike, you can quickly connect to it or, for example, Check your e-bike's current battery level via the connect module. Before we take a look at how to add multiple e-bikes to the app, feel free to subscribe to our channel and give the video a like if you're enjoying it and don't want to miss any updates about the Bosch Flow app. To add a new e-bike, go back to the overview of your e-bikes and use the add e-bike menu option to set up a new bike in the app as usual. The process is no different from what you're already familiar with. So you simply start the search process, select your corresponding remote, press the appropriate button for a few seconds, and in this way, add the bike to the app and your account. After that, the bike will appear in the overview of your e-bikes in the app. In the settings, you can now assign a new name to keep your bikes organized. And in this way, you can store up to six e-bikes in the app. If you happen to have more than six e-bikes at home, then let me congratulate you on your bike collection. At that point, I really don't know what else to recommend. One more thing you should know about this multi-bike feature. If you currently have an active Flow Plus subscription, it applies to all your e-bikes. So you only need one subscription for your personal account, no matter how many e-bikes you've added to the app. This means you can access advanced statistics for all your bikes, enjoy improved navigation on the Kyox display, and of course, use GPS tracking with the Connect module. Just a quick note, if you want to use this for all your bikes and e-bikes, then naturally each e-bike needs to have its own connect module. I've linked a guide up here on how to retrofit the connect module to different e-bike motors. And of course, you can also find the appropriate kits in our shop. As part of preparing for this video, we also tested what happens if several of your electric bikes installed with a connect module are marked as stolen. The app can handle that without any issues as well. You can then simply switch between the bikes via the My eBike menu and see the active tracking there. So now with the Flow app, we can finally manage multiple eBikes within one account. What currently doesn't work yet, unfortunately, is sharing one eBike with multiple users. This is also a highly requested feature, but I'm quite certain that the colleagues at Bosch are already aware of this request. Whether and when this feature will be released, unfortunately, I can't tell you at this point. 
As a final small update, Bosch has also introduced with update 1.26 a way for you to retrofit electronic THP shift triggers via the e-bike pass under the components section. In other words, if you have an electronic THP shifting system on your electric bike, you can now independently add a new trigger to the component list. This is necessary in case a trigger breaks or becomes faulty and you want to pair a new trigger. Now you can easily do that yourself through the app. Now feel free to write in the comments how many e-bikes you are going to register in your app and how long you've been waiting for this feature. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them and give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. Then we'll see each other again here soon.